Hello everyone. In the previous session, we have studied the derivation of closed loop voltage gain, input resistance, output resistance, and bandwidth with feedback for inverting as well as non-inverting amplifier with feedback. So now in this session, we'll study about summing, scaling, and averaging amplifiers. First, we'll consider inverting configuration and understand how it behaves as a summing amplifier, scale or weighted amplifier, and average amplifier. Then next, we'll consider non-inverting configuration and then understand how it behaves as an averaging amplifier and summing amplifier. Next, we'll consider differential configuration and understand how it behaves as a subtractor and summing amplifier. So now first, considering inverting configuration. This is a configuration of inverting amplifier wherein three input voltages VA, VB and VC are applied to the inverting terminal and the non-inverting terminal is grounded. And this ROM is the offset minimizing resistor that is used to minimize the offset voltage. And here this RF is the feedback resistance. This is the feedback path. And here, as you can see, this current IA is due to the voltage source VA. IB is due to VB. And similarly, IC is due to VC. So you can see here, IA plus IB plus IC is equal to IB2 plus IF. For an ideal op amp, the input current is equal to zero. So IA plus IB plus IC will be just equal to IF. And by the concept of virtual ground, V2 is also at the ground potential as V in is. So now applying KCL to this node V2, what we'll get? IA plus IB plus IC is equal to if isn't it now this ia is equal to va minus the potential at this terminal is zero because it is grounded by the concept of virtual ground so va minus zero by ra similarly ib will be equal to vb minus zero by ip and vc will be equal to vc minus zero by rc and this IF will be equal to the potential at this terminal is zero. And here it is V naught. So it is zero minus V naught by RF. And upon simplification, we'll get V naught is equal to minus of RF by RA into VA plus RF by RB into VB plus RF by RC into VC. So name this as equation one. So now, We'll understand how it behaves as a summing amplifier. One main thing that you have to remember here is based upon the relationship between the feedback resistance RF and the external resistances RA, RB, and RC, the amplifiers can be classified as summing amplifier or weighted amplifier or uh, averaging amplifier. So now uh, first we'll uh, study about uh, how the inverting uh, amplifier will behave as the summing amplifier. Summing amplifier in the sense VA plus VB plus VC should be equal to the output voltage. Meaning the output voltage should be equal to the sum of the input voltages. So here one assumption or the consideration that we are making here is that RA is equal to RB is equal to RC is equal to R. So all these three resistors is just equal to R. So now this equation one will reduce to this. V naught is equal to minus of RF by R that is in common for all the three terms and uh, into VA plus VB plus VC. Now this RF by R is the gain. So this output voltage is equal to minus the gain times of 
the sum of the input voltages. So now if this gain RF by R is equal to 1, V0 will be equal to minus of VA plus VB plus VC, that is nothing but minus the sum of the input voltages. Minus because it is the inverting amplifier and there is the phase shift between the output signal and the input signal. And next we'll study how this inverting amplifier will behave as a scaling amplifier or weighted amplifier. Scaling amplifier means each input that is applied to the amplifier is amplified with a different factor meaning rf by r is different for all the three input voltages va vb and vc and the other term that we use to refer for scaling amplifier is weighted amplifier meaning each input is weighted differently at the output it means the same rf by ra is different from rf by rp and is and that is different from rf by rc so this uh, equation one is v naught is equal to this much and here if rf by ra is not equal to rf by rb and that also is not equal to rf by rc we refer to it as a scaling amplifier next we'll come study how this inverting amplifier behaves as an averaging amplifier or the circuit so now average meaning the output voltage should be the average of all the three inputs so now here if we want the output voltage to be equal to the average of all the inputs Put voltages there are uh, two accomplishments to be made first one is ra is equal to rb and that is equal to rc should be equal to r and the gain of the amplifier should be equal to 1 by n n meaning the number of inputs so consider equation 1 here since ra rb and rc are equal to r this equation will reduce to this equation and here one more consideration is that the gain is equal to 1 by n so rf by r is equal to 1 by n that is nothing but 1 by 3 so substituting 1 by 3 here v0 is equal to minus of va plus vb plus vc by 3 it's nothing but output voltage is the average of all the three inputs with the negative sign because it is a inverting amplifier now this is the problem that you are supposed to solve first write what is the data given and next write what you have to find out next write the solution i want you people to try 